This is why alliances in Warhammer are not worth it. You have this incredibly new mini menu where you can manage your alliance with those that you have worked with. You get alliance points for working with them for a long time. Alliance points are passive income of two. However, you can get more. You can get more through fighting common enemies or you can get more through allied missions as well. These missions come up every now and again, and it will tell you, for example, to defeat a specific army. In this case, it is this army over here of silence from Subtle Torture of Sanesh. You get that, you win, you get rewarded with those allegiance points. But you tell me, Linksy, what do you do with allegiance points? Where a number of things. Firstly, you can set targets using allegiance points. Now, when you're allied with someone, it costs resources to be able to send them towards somewhere and to do a specific action. So if I want to give them a target for them to go attack, defend, or ever such, it's going to cost me points. So if I attack there, this is not a shared enemy, and we need to find a shared enemy. So let's go to Disciples of the Maw, and let's click on this guy. That is cost me some allegiance points, as you can see, at 10 in fact, and that will in fact be difficult every time you clear a target or you change target that's going to happen you can also request an army for 62 allegiance points you can choose one or more armies to become yours and you in this case can only choose the army that they don't have their faction leader which is elena zakorova so i cannot pick her army however i can pick igor's army over here which for 62 allegiance points this army is not really that great however if we go around and see our different allies it shows us that we are not allowed to do that because you need a specifically a military alliance to be able to request armies. If that was the case, we would have been able to get Tor, uh, Tortree's army over there. Of course, not Torgrens because Torgrens is the main army. It also shows you in a clear line where they're going and who their target is. In this case, it's this poor uh, Nurgle army, Dundgrat, who's going to get slapped by the dwarves. Guys, I hope you find this useful. This is how you use allegiance points, and this is how the mechanics of the alliances works in Total War Warhammer 3. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you again shortly. Bye-bye.